by yourself, too. I'm not going to do it by myself, too. 601 to Officer Scott. Could you please come to the front office area? Who can request public records? Florida state law requires that all public records, unless exempt, be open for personal inspection by anyone. Chapter 11901, Parent 1, Florida Statutes. The Public Records Act requires no showing of purpose or special interest as a condition of access to public records. Unless authorized by law, an agency may not ask a requester to produce identification as a condition to providing public records access. Nothing in Chapter 119 Florida Statutes requires that a requesting party make a demand for public records in person or in writing. Section 11907, Parent 1, Parent A, Florida Statutes provides that the very person who has custody of the public record shall permit the record to be inspected and copied by any person desiring to do so at any reasonable time, under reasonable conditions, and under supervision by the custodian of the public records or the custodian's designee. The Public Records Act does not contain a specific time limit, such as 24 hours or 10 days, for the compliance with the public records requests. The Florida Supreme Court has stated the only delay in producing records permitted under Chapter 119 Florida Statutes is the reasonable time allowed the custodian to retrieve the record and delete those portions of the record the custodian asserts are exempt. May 28, 2015, I am at Wards Creek Elementary School, just up the road from my house in, here in uh, St. John's County, Florida. I'm going to go in here and do a public record request. I noticed the, um, the fire thing over there when I was here, and I just kind of piqued my curiosity. Uh, what I'd like to do is just do a public record request to uh, inspect the photograph, the documents that are there. Let me get Mr. Lundquist, because he's our maintenance manager in Okay. In here. Or the principal or whoever would be in charge of the public. Okay, cool. Thank you. So what it looks like we have here is monthly emergency tests, fire reports. Monthly emergency light and exit light tests, 2015. Uh, FAAP, I'm not really sure what, the, what that stands for. Uh, good, how are you, sir? Good, good. Um, I, I, I was just curious, I was up here earlier and I noticed, what, what does the FAAP stand for? Do you know what the acronym is for? Or? It's, all, it's all with the fire thing, but I don't, I don't, okay, and I I don't see know it. what the acronym is. Oh. I, can, I can Google it. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if that'll tell me. I mean, I see it says monthly uh, emergency light and exit light test, mm -hmm. monthly emergency test, Those fire reports, 2015. Mm -hmm. uh, what I would like to just do is just inspect and photograph those documents and just do a public records request. Um, at this time, let me check. I don't know. Yeah, just can, check with let whoever. Me check, make sure. Fine, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't yeah it's just a public, just let me know it's a public records request okay. to inspect and photograph those documents. Hey, yes, sir. They told me that it's got to go through the Community Relations Office for Public Requests, and then I can release once it goes through them. Uh, who told you that? The principal. The principal, what's the principal's name? Um, Edie Gerald. Edie Gerald? Mm -hmm. um, but does, can I speak to the principal just so that they make sure that um, I, I, they understand that I'm requesting those documents okay. that are there? Just those right, just give me two more minutes. Okay. Hang tight. Okay, right thanks. There. Yeah. Meeting is all day, and she said she can't get it in right now. Uh -huh. and she said you have to follow the procedure through community relations with any kind of public record. So that's so, our schedule is busy all day, that she can't meet with you. But either way, I would have to. She's she's saying that I would have to go through community relations Definitely to make public records requests. Right, and they'll okay. tell you, and then they'll get it to you. Okay, all right, thanks, Tim. Okay, I, thank I, you. I know I'm yeah, not sorry. trying to get. And I'm, and I hate for you to be to, the middleman. But, yeah, I don't you know, even. I'm just. But to make sure she clearly understood that I was asking for the. You, yeah, you explained that it was these documents that are right here. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Well, okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a good day. You too. I am now at Bartram Trail High School, St. John's County School System. I'm going to go in here and do a public record request. Hi. Hey, how are you? I'm good. I'm Dr. Staff. I'm principal. Nice to meet you. Um, what I'm just here for is just to uh, do a public record request. I'd just like to inspect uh, what would be the uh, like the monthly emergency test for 2015 and the uh, uh, fire reports for 2015. Okay, and I understand that, but those public records requests have to go through our district. So we don't, oh. we don't honor those right here at the school site. So we need to direct you to make that request to our district office, and okay. then they can help you with that. Okay, so, but, but the records, I'm not asking for copies of the records. I'm actually asking to actually inspect and photograph okay. the, the records okay. that you have here. Okay. You know. but, 
we're not going to release any of that to yep. you directly unless it goes through our district. Uh, Anytime people request anything from us, it goes through our district office. Okay, so any any kind of public records request has to go through district office, right? Even if even if the records are here and right. Okay, I understand. Yes, sir. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Yeah. Have a good one. And in the future, if yes. you come on campus, you're expected to identify yourself. So really, even if I'm making a public record request, yes. you have to okay. identify yourself. We have to know who's on campus. You know, a lot of these schools, you know, you don't even gain entry. Mm -hmm. We don't have that system yet. But right, I, and that's why I'm just in the campus, public lobby area. Yeah, the, but you still, I wouldn't go past the public lobby area. During hours, once you come into this lobby area, you're expected to let us know. But not when I'm making a public records request, though. Well, if you, if you want to make that, you can do it downtown. But if you come to the school site, you need to tell us who you are. You can't just walk in and say, I'm not going to tell you who I am. That's not even if I'm not, Even if I'm making a public records request? Yeah. Really? Right. Once you're on campus during school hours and we have kids and everything, it's, this is not, a, we're not in a public event. It's not like we're at a football game or something. Well, this, this is a public lobby area. That no. You have to identify yourself. So if you are going to come back, you need to be willing to identify yourself or we will ask you to leave. But so I have to you're, ident you're, notify. You're going to identify yourself to me. I'm not going to identify myself okay. to you. 601 to Officer Scott. Could you please come to the front office area? And if, what I'll do is I'll just wait outside for. Okay. <clears throat> All right, I got a St. John's County Sheriff's officer behind me. He was really going fast to catch up to me. He's the same one that I just had on video going past me when I was taking pictures outside the school. And now he's behind me. So I don't know what's going on. I, I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. I know he's probably at least running my tag number. At the very least, he's running my tag number. I don't know if he's going to pull me over. And I am being followed by St. John's County Sheriff's Deputy. Probably Officer Scott. <laughs> 